All right, Ian. Mm-hmm. This was a Twitter um, Twitter topic that was mm-hmm. tweeted. Twitter tweet Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, this is um, this was from at the breaks at watch the breaks. It wasn't at us. Someone uh, filled me in on this. Um, very dangerous practice uh, by eBay to stop showing best offer accepted on their sold listing search could massively throw off comps and inflate markets. So this user watch the breaks was looking at. A good old Jimmy Garoppolo 2014 Topps Chrome Rookie RC Refractor Auto. Who wasn't looking at that? So the listing, when you're watching it on eBay, sold. When it's green, it means it's sold for the, yeah. for the value. Mm-hmm. The value. So this said 325 or best offer, and then 325. So you'd assume that looking at it, it sold for 325. 325. That's not what this means. Um, so here's an example from my, my search uh, results. Versus Terra Peak of the same card. I guess that means like what's the the value going on? What the fuck does Terra Peak mean? I don't even know that. Terra Peak. Uh, Terra Peak is an exclusive eBay's insight tool, an effective way to research what your competitors are doing. Oh, okay. I didn't know about that. Terra Peak tool. So okay. it's showing what it actually. So Terra Peak is showing so, what it actually sold for. So the Terra Peak price was two hundred and five dollars that this card sold for, but if you're looking just eyeballing it it would say 325 right by pat man that's over a that's a that's a 35 percent reduction of sold versus what it was being sold for something like that that is not cool at all no especially it's not cool if this is how things are being priced by competitor uh competitive people up listing them and for those that think their value or people that even are bidding is go, well, this sold for 325, then I'm going to put a best offer in it and maybe a 280 on the next one because that's going to be a deal. It's not a deal. It's not a deal. If it's sold for really 205, this is very dangerous. This is something that I've seen before video game stuff. And they started, I don't know when they started doing the changeover officially from, from listing the actual sold price versus um, what it was originally listed at or best offer, but this is happening for a while, I think. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I've um, it's an interesting topic to bring up just to so people know, but yeah, I, I've noticed, I would say almost at least a year, I've seen some sales a while. where best of yes, uh, best offer is not what it actually sold. For. I thought it used to be like in parentheses, yes, it did. It used to be yeah. like the, the sold. Yep. So you would know, oh, they offer for three fifty. It but used to be that information used to be available on there, and it's not anymore. So they here's the thing: it, they make it look like it's just that price. I I am making a big assumption that big asses that sites like price charting are going off to the actual sold price. If not, game prices are totally fucking skewed. Then we have no idea what anything is worth. Right. If they're not going off of this therapy, I would assume that they're capturing the actual sold because if the therapy that exists, data is available, I'm assuming that's yes. the data they're getting. If not, this is a gigantic scandal, not just for video game prices, but for anything, uh, anything. that uses that right. tracks these prices. Because then you can have prices on some of this stuff off by 50% or more. Like we have no idea then. Um, but what was, what was worse about this was eBay actually responded to this. Uh, really? At watch the breaks. Yes. With, with one of the most insane responses I've ever heard. This is from uh, Ask at Ask eBay. They're verified. Hi. So they basically the person asked what's going on at eBay. to st- uh, Why did you stop showing the best offer accepted? eBay said, hi, we don't show those prices because each seller has different limits on what they're willing to accept. Those offers wouldn't reflect the average across all similar products. We don't want to skew market value based on seller's acceptance of lower costs. Laura. Laura Laura probably has a book of responses she's, you know, responding from. This makes absolutely no, no sense, sense whatsoever. when it comes to capitalism and the free market and what the cost of goods are. Yeah. You are actually skewing the the potential uh cost of these items by putting out fake numbers based upon what something is being offered for versus what's actually being sold for. That is skewing the market price. I don't understand why you would think... Like, this is totally trying to protect eBay and their bottom line, and they don't want prices to be offered for lower from the start because then they would come down more. Because now this... If I'm watching this card, I say, oh, it went for 325. I'm going to list mine at 325. I'm not going to... If I saw it go for 205 and, 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 and the buyers and sellers know, I might list it for 230. And eBay gets it, gets it, gets. They make their money off of what the final sold price is. They get a percentage. 
They're, they're the online pimps when it comes to this. So I don't understand how th- they would think this is an acceptable answer. This is insane. Yeah, it's nuts. I mean, we kind of realize that, you know, the fact that eBay doesn't really care about allegedly like counterfeit games and other counterfeit items that they let it go, you know, repro manuals. They don't care that that they would turn a blind eye. But this is this is market manipulation in and of itself by not having it easily digestible. Yes, if they had a terror peak sort of buyers app, but most people aren't going to be using that. They're just going to list if I'm at the swap meet or if I'm selling something at the, say, the flea market and I have this card. I'm just going to look and say, oh, 325, then I'll put it for 325 with the swap meet. That's totally false based upon what it's going for. Yeah. It's gross. Gross. It's fucked up. I mean, uh, this could affect, uh, you know, certain video game shops if you're trying to price things as well. You don't, you have no idea. Yeah, you, I, 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 I'm still trying to wrap my head around this not having accurate data helps us keep things most accurate response. Oh, they got killed. They got ratioed on that response. I feel bad for Laura, but, you know, she moves on to her next question, I guess. Yeah, she'll be fine. Uh, He said, uh, the the watch the break said, hi, Laura. Wow, that is a horrible answer that horrible answer that literally flies in the face of how capitalism markets are designed to work and hints at collusion by eBay to keep prices high. Doesn't hint if that's what what they decided to do. Yeah, that's, I mean, basically what she just said. We're trying to keep the lower sold amounts out of people's heads. That's what they're doing. I think it's been probably a couple of years they've been doing this at least. I'm trying to remember the last time I remember seeing a video game that actually had the parentheses. Maybe yeah. someone in the comments can let us know when they actually, you know, carried over from this. Because now if you don't know this, this is happening, like, yeah, if you're trying to sell something or if you're a buyer that doesn't know any better, you're going to get taken for a ride as well. This affects everything. Yeah, that, I mean, that's where it's, you know, it's, really, it's definitely going to impact the buyers when they look at something and they go, oh, I could have had that for so much cheaper. The value of cars collectibles, I'm sure they're they're not biased in this. They they uh, weighed in uh, in the conversation. Said, I'm with eBay on this. Accepted offers shouldn't count towards sold prices, but you're selling it though. Yes, you are. It's 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 a they sold aren't price. apples to apples. If Ivan goes broke and sells his trout update for two hundred dollars to pay the light bill, that shouldn't affect the price of every trout in circulation. By the same t- token, though, the reverse. If I'm desperate to get a trout card for my kid's birthday party tomorrow, I'm gonna pay a premium to make sure I get it. Then that shouldn't be counted. Then right. You don't put in these like caveats of extreme ex- examples when these things are sold. Yeah, everything's supposed to balance out, right? That's insane. Uh, very unbiased value of cards collectibles account. Yeah, that's uh... a card seller on eBay. You you want uh, people not to know the actual accepted price, uh, value of cards collectibles. That's an awful response. And I've seen shit like that uh, try to be argued for video games before about well they don't know you know it's desperation. But what about what about extreme examples of of of, of hoarders then? We shouldn't count those since they're manipulating the market directly. Right. If you're saying that we can't accept... You can't you can't pick and choose what sale price you want to include in your average. That's insane. Yeah. That's nuts. Eat me. Valley of cards collectibles. That's an awful Especially answer. because a lot of best offers aren't even those sorts of desperate situations. No. They're simply, this is what I would like to get for it, and you're going to yes. offer me what the market bears. And a lot of, not all, but a lot of these best offers start at a, a very high amount just yes, to ex- see what can right. come in. Exactly. So you're already uh, basing it higher up. So this 325 or best offer, I have no idea what the average of that card is in general, this drop But it might only go for 250 Or 270 or what have you. Yeah. So that they want to raise the price to get an offer that might be higher than what it would sell for, you know, for regular buy it now. So there's so much going on here that's wrong. And, and of course, uh, someone who, who would base their making more money off of eBay uh, manipulate, uh, manipulating the prices but not showing the sold prices, they would agree with eBay. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And that was the only, I think, one of the only responses I saw that was on eBay's side because it's insane to think that. Uh, if I put on Ian, if I put on, up my Steam events for uh, the cart for seventy five thousand or best offer, and I got a best offer of like eight thousand, we'll just say. Now people might say, "Oh, that wow, that that, that Steam is worth more than what we thought it was. It could be worth twenty five or fifty thousand, maybe. It, maybe it was a desperate person, but that's what's so dangerous about this. Yeah, you got to show the best offer. You gotta. And, and plus, because we don't know other also what other manipulation is going on, we have no idea. We have no idea if there's a best offer that happened on, say, like a sealed graded WADA game and it's inflated 
and maybe uh, it, uh, it was accepted for lower or maybe their friend accepted it for a lot lower. We have no idea now what's going on with this. It's market manipulation. That's all. That's really all I have to say. I'm just going to pound that home. This is disgusting. This is the, this is the shady side of capitalism, Ian. It's capitalism. It's all fucking shady. No, no, it's not all shady, Ian. It's all shady. It's not all shady. It's all, it's all shady. All right. Don't go leftist on me. All right, what's next? Go leftist on you.